Hey guys, it's me, Admiral Redstone, and I am back, baby. And this is my compact design for a pop-up enchantment room. So I have managed to fit this into a 5x5x8, five by five by including this enchantment table space, which, in my opinion, is extremely compact for something like this. I have have actually never seen a design that fits within a 5x5 five five space. So I'm very glad that I got this down to be this compact. However, this is extremely simple. All it does is pops up and goes back down. So, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be coming out with something that I've been working on, which uses this as the basis, but it adds some switches and stuff to make it look and perform cooler. So, expect that more complex system in the future. This is just a simple pop-up enchantment table. And you may notice that this lever here makes it 5x6x8, but you can avoid that by just placing a lever or a pressure pad right here. Or pressure plate. Oh. I've heard people call it different things. What's it actually called? Pressure plate. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. So, I'm hoping to keep this quick and sweet. So, why don't we get started on the tutorial? All you'll need is 15 bookshelves, 58 solid blocks, I'm going to be using stone, one enchantment table, 25 redstone torches, 15 redstone repeaters, 8 redstone dust, 15 sticky pistons, and 1 input. So you can use a lever. Afterwards, I'll show you how to make the modification using a pressure pad plate thingy <laughs> to make it more compact. So why don't we get started and start building? The first thing you're going to want to do is just use your 15 bookshelves and 10 building blocks to create this little setup and plop your enchantment table right down the middle. So this will get you to level 30. Let me just grab diamond sword. Level 30. Ugh. Ew, that's gross. Yeah, and you probably already have one of these in your base, so why don't we get started on the actual redstone. You're going to want to build down two blocks, place a sticky piston adjacent to that block, and place sticky pistons all the way around. You're going to use a total of 15 underneath all of these bookshelves. So I'm going to speed this up. See you later. And we're back. So as you can see, or as you probably saw from the sped up portion, I place sticky pistons facing upwards. Next you're going to want to do is place a ring underneath these sticky pistons of your solid block with one airspace in between. Plop, 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 plopity plop. Okay, then you're going to want to place torches on all of these solid blocks. Do, 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 do. Okay. And now you're going to want to make this little ring thingy right here. Like that. And the next step is just to place repeaters facing this way. And line the center with redstone dust. Alright, now you're almost done. You're going to want to build another little ring thingy right here with air block in between. And do the same on the other side. Plop torches down and do the same for the other side. Okay, now the final step is to build this platform. It'll be a 3x5 platform, so you're using up the last of your 15 solid blocks. Put repeaters facing this direction on both sides. They should be facing the blocks with the torches on top, and do the same over here. Plop, 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 plop. Okay, and finally, you're going to just want to line this with redstone dust. Right like this. Okay, so this is your input. Your input can be going anywhere as long as it activates this line of redstone. So you can use a repeater, whatever you want. And now I'm going to be showing you how to make the quick modification to make it compact like this, where you can step on a pressure plate or use a lever right here. So you're going to want to go grab a pressure plate, another sticky piston, another piece of redstone dust, two more building blocks, and a redstone torch. So place your pressure plate, unless you want to use a lever, right there. Then you would place your lever right there. Build down two, break this one, place dust on top. You want to get underneath and place a sticky piston facing downwards. Break this, place a torch right here, and a solid block right here. So you're done. All you have to do is step on this pressure pad, or plate, 
whatever and it'll pop up and pop back down so the world download for this is going to be in the description I'm also going to be supplying for the first time an MC edit filter of this and this one so you guys can put these into your worlds uh, hopefully you guys are able to figure that out and hopefully I'm able to figure that out to try to get the filter working I think it's called a filter actually no it's not called a filter it's called what's it called one second schematic it's an MC edit schematic sorry about that I will be putting an MC edit schematic in the description so you guys can transfer this into your own world and to finish this off I'll provide some news about my channel unfortunately I did not win the contest to get onto the Bartown server uh, there were three winners I was not one of them and I kind of expected two of the guys to win one of them though I was a little surprised I didn't really like his submission too much but oh well Barty's decision not mine and Barty said he would be holding another competition sometime in the future so I'm excited about that hopefully I can make it in next time and also when I did not make it into the server for that competition I actually got invited to play on a different server uh, the server is called the hijinx server so thanks a lot for letting me join and I'm really excited about playing on that so expect some videos on that in the future maybe I'll make a series out of it hopefully I haven't quite decided yet probably how many adverbs can I use those adverbs are adverbs I think correct me if I'm wrong hopefully probably soon whatever uh thank you guys for watching I will see you all next time and I hope you enjoyed this little compact in pop-up enchantment table room design thingy it's that are they were by as always I have forgotten to mention a couple of things uh, first of all, expect in the next week, finally, episode 3 of Redstone Lair to come out. It's taken a while to record. I have most of it recorded. I want to get a little more done, and then that should be out. Uh, expect another tool for map makers. I thought of something that I think would be very cool inside of an adventure map, so expect that sometime soon. And hopefully expect the first episode of me playing on the hijack server. I'm um, pretty excited about that. And hope you guys are too. So I will see you guys later. Hopefully I won't start talking again because I forgot something. Bye.